Leo, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? Okay, so I just want to clear the energy real quick. You know, Leo, I feel like snake energy. Let's see what's going to come out. Bring love into a situation, new moon in Aquarius. bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius okay what else I want to get one more and then hold your vision wow beautiful cards there's something here that is um prosperity lies ahead wow there's something here that's changing. Something is dying off so something bigger can take its place. Something bigger, something better for you in your life. That's what this feels like. A lot of pain, a lot of heartache, and you're done with that. You're like, you know... Drama keeps trying to pull you in. People keep trying to pull you this way and that way. And you're like, no, 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 no. There's something here. Hold your vision. There's something that you're focusing on. It's like you're thinking ahead, looking at the bigger picture. Any drama that comes your way, can you bring love into it or can you like get out of it? You know what I mean? Like, okay, that's that. Because, you know, there's a lot of prosperity that's lying ahead for you. There's abundance. And this is the, the um, new moon in Taurus, okay? We're uh, entering Taurus season here soon. Giraffe spirit, see the bigger picture. <laughs> okay. I mean, two different decks, come on. There's something here about rising above something, okay? Hummingbird, be here now in your present moment, which is like bring love into the situation. So right now in your present moment, how can you bring love into the situation? How can you do that? In the grand scheme of things, it's like, you know... There is an energy of triumphing over um, something here. <sighs> Snake spirit, time to heal. I'm telling you, I could feel it. I feel like there is a person that you're seeing is a snake. There, there's like illusions are being revealed to you. Any situation, work situation, past love situations, people in your family, you see who they really are. It could be somebody that's a friend. And they're telling another friend that you don't talk to anymore or a family member. And this person doesn't have their your best interests at heart. And they're getting their information about you from somebody else from a, through a family member. This could be an ex or something. Koala spirit, spirit, spirit has a plan. Yeah, spirit is protecting you from whatever this is. Wow. I knew it. I knew it. We're going to get tarot now. Chameleon act as if. Okay. Let's see about this. This is like a situation where you can see there's like snake in the grass. And you know this. So then you having this kind of information is very beneficial. 
with how you're going to move forward. And what it is that you want to do, you know, for yourself. You have the Knight of Cups. You're going to go forth towards what it is that you love. That's what's happening here. And anyone that's coming towards you that's against you, it's because they're against themselves. And you're seeing this. And any kind, these people, these snake people here or situations or whatever, this is, uh, you're attracting this because there's some kind of doubt. There's some kind of doubt that you, <clears throat> excuse me, may have or some kind of fear that you may have. And this is why this is coming through. And this is spirit telling you, hey, when, when the people around you, the way they're behaving, the way that they're acting, this is telling you something. There's something here. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the high priestess out here. There's something going on here. There's something going on with the love opportunity here. What is this about? Because this is like, hey. See the bigger picture. So you want to think about here and now, right now, and then also the bigger picture. What is this person actually presenting you? Let's see. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. Where's the number seven? Seven. Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. It's like you're disappointed and this person is not trustworthy. Look how the crow is calling it out. I feel like there is somebody that's feeding information to this person. But I also feel like spirit, you know, spirit has a plan. It's like spirit has your back. Spirit is going to let you know something. There is something here that you're going to find out. This could be a person that it's like, you know, you say something, but then it's like they never really give you an answer. This is like a way you can tell is like you will be talking to your friends about this person and your friends will ask questions, you know, and you don't have an answer. And the next time you see this person, you ask the question, but they never gave you an answer. <laughs> and then when you go back to your friends and like, well, what, what, what did they say? And, and you're like, uh. I don't know. <laughs> like they didn't give you an answer. They just like manipulated the situation. There is something here where it's like when something is presented to you, you it's like assessing what this is. Checking back with yourself. Is this going to be good for me? And that's the thing is. Oh, this is an opportunity. This could be love. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's jump in. You know, this vitality that you have, you're learning to harness it and to utilize it to your benefit. Because there's a person here and you feel like there's something wrong with this situation. And this doesn't have to be love, but this is something that someone is presenting an illusion of caring about you and they really don't. They just switch the conversation and then they get all this dirt, you know. Or they get what they want. And when you need them, where are they? That's that's this kind of energy. This is a person who, you know, they know how to play things around into their favor. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Six of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands. Wow. Some of you are going to find love. You're going to find a beautiful love. It's like this person kept you waiting. This person is manipulating you. And then it's like there is something here about loving yourself. Seeing the bigger picture of at least I figured this out right now. 
And eventually, I will get over this situation. I will get over this person. I can just be in this present moment right now. Just have this new beginning right now. Hummingbirds signify a new beginning. You know, I can, I can love myself because this is about you realizing that you have to be the frequency of what you want. You have to embody what you want. <laughs> and so this eclipse is showing you within yourself, what do you, what can you change to embody what it is that you're wanting and you're doing this. It's like almost just right before there is a sketchy love situation. And this is like keeps you waiting again. Okay, okay. It's like so many cards fell out, I can't. <laughs> it's only four, but my brain is like, what happened? Okay, you got judgments, the two of wands, the king and the queen of pentacles. Wow. There is a beautiful opportunity for you. It's like, what is next for you? You're having a rebirth. You're seeing what is next for you. And within your soul, your relationship to money, your relationship to wealth, your relationship to uh, earthly possessions, it's like you're, you're understanding something about how to nourish yourself and how to balance that out so that you can have a rebirth so that you can go out and explore this world. Hold your vision. There is something here that you're meant to do. There's something here that you're meant to do and you're going to like come out and you're going to shine in this. And it's like you don't realize that you're going to, but you are going to. You have the six of swords and then you have the moon. Ten of swords. There is something here that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth energy and you're going to move away from it. The two of pentacles and the ten of swords. Because it's like, you know, you have the king of queen of pentacles here. You know, look at where she is in this nourished garden here. There's something really amazing about you and another person coming together. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, eight of pentacles. It could be through work. There's something here that you're doing and it's it's time for things to change for you. Page of Wands. Wow, this is very interesting now. Okay, let's see. You have the tiger energy. Somebody has been like the top at something for a really long time. They've been the person that it's like, this is who they are. This is who they are in your life. This is who they are at this company. You know, they are this, they have this title in a way. They have this role that they play that role is, is coming crashing down. It's not going to stand. It's not going to last. They can't, the old things that they used to do, it's not even that they can't do them anymore. It's like this energy of it's not effective anymore. It's not working anymore. 
It's like this person is refusing to evolve. Completely and totally refusing to evolve. You have the fish. You can have a Pisces person coming in for you. This is someone who, you know, they go with the flow of life. This is a person who, you know, they're on your path. A fish jumping upright out of water is a symbol of being on your path. Fish can change direction very quickly. So this is kind of talking about being able to shift and be adaptable in different situations has to do with a psychic connection as well. There is something here about a person who's very nourishing, very nurturing energy. This is a person who is not going to try to compete with you. That's another thing. You have the devil. I'm telling you, there is something here. There is a person here. And it's like, you know, maybe this person was abused in some way with the seven of swords, the tiger, the snake. There is something here about something is going to come out a little bit later because it's like this. We have this energy over here, but then you have the snake over here. It's like, OK, this could be multiple. I know it's the same energy. There, there could be multiple areas of your life where this is going to happen. You have a feeling about something and it ends up being right. Page of Wands. You know, you're moving on from a situation. There's a situation that you're moving on from. And people, yeah, you have the Two of Swords. You may have to block people. You have to block some people completely. Look, you have the Page of Swords here. Somebody here is trying to get more and more information about you. They're trying to find ways to get information about you. You know, this could be a Virgo person. It doesn't have to be. Especially with your success. This is the kind of person that it's like, you know, you get some kind of success. And they're going around talking to everybody about you know, claiming that it's their success or saying that you said this or you did this or you did that. And it's like, clearly they're jealous. Everyone can see it. You know, there, there's something here about that. And this could be within your own family. This could be a lot of different things. But something is clear is that, you know, page of wands, you're breaking free out of this. You have a lot of newness coming to you. Ace of Pentacles now. It's like, you know, yeah. It's like there is something here about um, a balanced opportunity, a balanced love opportunity where a person is, you know, very well rounded and you're going to recognize right away. You're going to start to recognize this kind of energy that is just not healthy. It's not beneficial. The way that people come at you, you instantly are like, no, no, no. You can see right through these kinds of things. Which is very interesting that you're, you know, now attracting the fish because it's like, you know, you have kind of gained this, uh, you know, definitely your psychic abilities or your intuition, whatever level, you know, has increased. And this is when you're attracting this kind of a person. You're just loving yourself and you're just going forward in this life, you know, pursuing your own dreams here. That's kind of this energy. And then you have this other energy that's trying to get some more information. And as this prosperity comes in, that's only going to get worse. They're only going to try harder. Um, it's like you may have to block some people because it's it's almost like this person is just refusing to do to get any kind of help to do anything that's going to benefit them. It's like, you know, they would rather... They would so much rather, yeah, this is so interesting because you have the spider here <laughs> and the spider talks about creative things. So there is something here that you're creating, that you're like creating a new life for yourself here with judgments, 
you're um, balancing out your divine feminine, your divine masculine energies in this particular area of realizing your own worth. Pentacles talk about worth. What are you worthy of on this physical plane? You're realizing that you're worthy of more in this physical plane. It's okay for you to receive. You know, that's something that you have learned, that you have grown. So you're really focusing here on what is fulfilling to you. You're going to add more to what is adding value to your life. What you're really passionate about. That's what the spider does. It create. And <laughs> this person, you know, they don't want to do that. They want to watch. And they want to wait for an opportunity to take what it is that you have worked for, what it is that you have. They want to deny what it is that you have. It's like, I'm not surprised we're seeing the sea serpent here. Because the sea serpent energy is the energy of somebody who it wants to take advantage. Imagine if there is a mystical sea creature in a lake somewhere. Well, what's going to happen to this mystical creature? You know what I mean? In the middle of the mountains a tiny little town and there's a little old lady that like feeds this creature and they're, they're friends. But man, once, once the other people in the town find out, you know, they're going to call the news. They're going to post videos online. You know, scientists are going to be trying to capture this creature and put it in a lab, you know. Um, hunters are going to come and try to kill it so they can, you know, be the one that has, you know, the serpent's head that they can make a house out of or whatever they want to do. You know what I mean? They're, you're going to be hunted. There's something here about a person who they want to take advantage of what's naturally just you. And they don't want you to have this. So spirit wants you to know about this. <laughs> and it's like interesting because you have the cosmic egg, which has the um, snake around the egg. So this is like, you know, there is a person here who's trying to take your new opportunity. That's what this feels like. Scorpion, this could be a Scorpio person. Doesn't have to be. But this is someone very possessive over you. A possessive relationship. It wasn't a healthy relationship. Whether this was a friendship, the work situation, it wasn't a healthy work situation. If HR knew what was going on down here, no, this would not fly. You know, but, you know, if the world knew, but they don't know, you know what I mean? There is something here about this, about secrets th that need to come out. You know, there is something here about you are, you have something that you need to protect. You know, you need to protect yourself here in this situation. You need to protect your ideas. You need to protect, you know, and focus on what it is that you're creating in this life. Because you have something of value that you're creating and you don't want somebody to swoop in and try to take that away from you. That's what this is talking about. And it can be the newfound peace that you have. It could be that too. You know what? Okay. Hold on. Look at this. Your own power. You're getting your own power back. Yeah. I like this card. I like this energy. Because you feel that you need to distance from this, distance from this. You feel it and you're like already starting to do it. But then every now and then you question. You know what I mean? Uh, so this reading is just about don't question yourself. Don't question yourself. Love is going to come here for you. You know, a healthy love is going to come for you. And when you're standing fully in your power, when you love yourself and when you say, you know, everything that I want, I, I am. Then this is when a person comes and you don't have to question whether or not it's right. You know, you feel it and you give a little bit and you see where it goes and you give a little more and you see where it goes. Okay. Are they giving back as well? You know, that's how, that's how, yeah. And now you have seeds, spring, fulfillment, and wish. Where's wish at the bottom? There are seeds that's been planted a long, long time ago. Yes. I mean, I know this is an egg, but this, both of these talk about spring. 
the egg is going to hatch in spring. The seed is going to start to be a plant in spring. That's what this is talking about, fulfillment and celebration. It's your time now, but you still need to protect what it is that you have. You still need to nourish and grow what it is that is going to benefit you. You know, it's like the Queen of Wands is not going to water poison ivy. You know, no, she's not going to do that. This is going to damage her garden. You know, she is going to water, you know, what she wants to grow. And this is the thing is like when you're thinking about things throughout your day, when you're around other people and you're talking about things, you're spending your day watching other people's drama on TV and stuff that you don't realize that you're absorbing that energy. And then you're thinking more that way. <laughs> and this spills out into your own life here. So there is something about don't lose sight, don't lose focus and protect what it is that you're working on. You know, it's like when you find this lamp, you can't go tell everybody that you have a lamp with a genie in it. You know, you need you need to hide that. <laughs> that's not going to be good for everybody to know. They're going to take your lamp. You know, that's that's not what we're trying to do here. So there, there's something here where I feel like Spirit is giving you the opportunity to make changes in your life. And the thing is, is you're taking these opportunities. And so this is when things are going to start to happen for you. You know, you have stability, harmony, flow. Yeah, things are flowing for you. And then you have this regret and repression here. I feel like there is a person here that regrets. They have their regrets. And then you have renewal and spark. So there is something here about you're getting your vitality back. You're getting your stability back. You're getting these opportunities to create better things in your life. There is a person here who has some regrets. But it's like, what changes have they actually made? Be a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Goodness. Eccentricity. You know, some of you, it's like your really unique, authentic self is going to show. And it's very, you know, you have a dream. You have an idea that's a very different idea. Like this is a fish with wings. So it's like you're combining different things and making it something new. Making it something that speaks to you. There's something here about an idea, a way to do something, and then a different idea. And it's like, oh, how can I do these two things? You have inspiration here. Following your inspiration, following your creative ideas. And it's like, yeah, even if you do a creative idea and it doesn't work, well, then you can think of the next idea. You know what I mean? There's like building blocks that happen when you get started. Things start to flow. And it's like, you know, you have to just take this spark and like go somewhere with it so it can build and grow and become something. Because there is something here about prosperity here for you. There's something here about a very different person that, you know, we saw the fish here. Where is this little guy now? Fish is flying. Some of you may meet a Pisces person on an airplane. Very particular message. Some of you may you know, travel somewhere and you meet a person that is your person. This person is not like anybody else. Dude, that influence card just snuck out and it has a snake on it. I'm telling you, it's like right before you have innovation, you have achievement. There is something really amazing that you're going to do. Something real. And that's what I was talking about. Do something different in a different way. You don't know how big this is going to become. So these cards are very thinking outside of the box kind of cards. This is very different, you know, very new, very, what is this? I don't know. It's something it just, you, you know, that's the thing here. This inspiration here. 
And the way that kind of thing flows is it's like, you know, when you're, if you're with like really close friends and you know, they're not going to judge you and you just say stuff and you just say stuff. And it's like 90% of what you say is not funny. But that one thing that you said that one time was hilarious and you still talk about it to this day. You know what I mean? It's like that. So it's like, don't be afraid to do things that are wrong because all of those mistakes are part of the process to getting to the thing that's not a mistake that leads to this. Are you watching inspirational stuff? Because you need to watch inspirational stuff. Because you're inspirational. You're going to inspire a lot of people. You have ostentation here. There's something here about you're going to be seen for something that you're doing. You could be in, you know, it's like be careful of people that, you know... They see you and they create a lot of energy around something here. You know, they're very like exciting and they're very like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like have this kind of energy. It's like putting on some kind of a show here. You know, you want to be careful of this kind of energy versus someone who wants to try to get to know you here. That's the thing. Yeah, you have escape here. Getting away from like boastful people. Yeah, learning to focus more on what it is that you want to see. And don't give to situations that are not what you want because of what other people's feelings or what this is an opportunity that presents itself that doesn't mean you need to say yes to it. You know what I mean? Because you have this love card here. So this is leading to everything that you're wanting. Getting away from people that are just putting on a show, just to put on a show. Just look at this. Making decisions, thinking ahead. Thinking ahead towards what you want. Does this person really embody what it is that you want? Are you really embodying what you want? Are you appreciating yourself? Are you loving yourself as you are? is going to attract a genuine person who's going to love you as you are also. And that's what you're doing here. It feels like a person who, you know, they're a very genuine person. This is a person who will go out of their way to do things to appreciate you. This is a person who wants to go different places and listen to different people and their perspective on things and talk with you about what did you what do you think about this or what do you think about that this is a person who's like very involved in life very involved in being alive and you know what I mean they're present that's what I'm trying to say this is a person that's very 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 present that's the kind of person you're attracting you know you have Leo here you have Gemini Leo, Pisces, Aquarius, Aquarius again, Capricorn, Taurus. Those are the signs. This is a person excited about life, excited about you, sure of who they are. Look at this. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Something is happening here. Marriage, chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. Whoa. Marriage. Look at how they're seeing like the like the view from the airplane of the earth. There's something here about you following your unique ideas. Okay, you going forward and you know trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition. There's something here <laughs> and it's like focus on what you really want because you can really have anything and you're really going to have anything. A lot of you are going to meet a person that's going to be your forever person. A lot of you, it's like, oh, there's a lot of big changes that are taking place in your life because you have done the work to make these big changes. And spirit is like, right before we're about to bless you, don't allow yourself to stop. Don't allow yourself to talk yourself out of this dream 
feels like you're very alone right now and nobody really understands this journey, this path that you're on, but nobody else is also really attracting these kinds of things that you're attracting, you know, and that's only going to increase. I feel like already there's a lot of you that are like very powerful manifestors and there's a lot of amazing things that you have attracted. It's like, has anyone else really attracted these kinds of things? It's like not the regular things that everybody has in life. I have this, I have this, I have this. Yeah, at this age, everybody has this. But no, but you have other things that it's like, whoa. And you're going to put all of these things together in this unique way. And this is when this is going to <laughs> lead to major achievement for you. Major achievement. Uh, and this major achievement is going to lead to a different chain of events. It's going to lead to you meeting this person. And this could lead to a lifelong relationship, love, definitely a lot of prosperity lying ahead. A lot of you did the work. You took the time out and you did the work. And so now this is the build up until it all is happening. So, okay, Leo, this looks amazing. This is what I have for you. Thank you so much. And if you resonated with this video and you want to like or subscribe, I will greatly appreciate it, okay? Also, I have a book. It's called One Light. It's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested, it's in the description.